first video, I think that we should talk about what a normal day is for me. So, I know if you have a 9 to 5 job, you start first thing in the morning. But restaurants is different. Let me show you what I do. So guys, right now it's 10pm. So, customers have left now, I'm ready to close up. But before we close up, what we need to do is prepare for the next day. So let's begin. So the first thing we do is check the date for the next day and we look at the reservations. Based on this, we need to make sure we're well prepared. This includes ordering of inventory. Next thing we do is check the roster, make sure we have enough staff to compensate for that. So next, let's check our produce. So guys, at the end of the night, I'll stop by checking my cool room to see what I need to order for the next day. Now, it's very important to make sure it's stored properly. As you can see, raw meats I keep on the right-hand side, bottom shelf, vegetables, top shelf, drinks are in their own place, and all sort of small goods are on this side here. So, cool rooms check, let's check everything else. Next, we'll check our drinks. As you can see, they are all topped up, and if you did notice, I have stock in the cool room as well as backup. Now, these alcoholic drinks we keep in here, Anything spirits-wise, I usually just do orders for that once a week. That also applies to wines as well. So we get a weekly delivery for those. So guys, if you are starting up your restaurant, have a list of your delivery frequencies. So in my case, my Coke orders come once a week. That always comes on the Thursday. Meat, chicken, small goods come daily. Generally, I have to order every day as well. Now, laundry comes once a week, so they take it on a Sunday and they deliver back on a Monday. Any sort of shisha products I order either on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. So eventually you'll keep this memorized. In my case I've written them down just so you have an idea how it works. So what we'll do is put all our orders in now. Now before I leave every night I come and check and make sure all the gas is off. Now that's very important. I also always check my fridges before I leave and first thing when I come in the morning. It's very important to make sure they're kept at temperature because if you have an issue now you've got to call someone up now. As you can see, I have a sticker here for the guy I use. Make sure, guys, you have contacts ready just in case of an emergency. I've been using this guy for over seven years now, and I trust him, and he's always reliable. So once we've done inventory, next thing we do is check to make sure all our doors are locked. While you're doing this, see, we use candles in our restaurant. Make sure the candles are all out, because believe me, that can start a fire, and a very bad one. As you can see, it's all carpeted and wood here. So we'll start by checking this door, locked, no candles, all tables are set up well, if there's any issues make a note of us so you can inform your staff. That door's locked as well. So in my case what I have here is a checklist. So whenever I hire staff, I make sure they're trained to follow this. So it's very important to have a guideline like that, so you can train your staff. Now as some of you know, I have a fish tank in a restaurant as well. Before I leave, I make a habit to check the ammonia level, check the temperature, make sure the filter's working. If there's any issues, I'd rather fix it now than come back tomorrow and, you know, be depressed. Okay guys, so in my case it's 10.30 now, so it only took half an hour. You'll get the hang of it, you'll get the frequency of it, you'll know how to be very well organized. So we'll turn all the lights off and we'll come back tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's currently 8.30 in the morning, so I've just come in. So first thing we need to do is make ourselves a coffee. So the coffee machine always stays on. So we'll start the morning with a short black. So guys, the basic idea now is we're waiting for our deliveries to come. They usually come around 9.30, 10 a.m. Uh, we'll do some light prep, make sure everything's prepared for lunch service. Other than that, it's mostly housekeeping, making sure everything's working, like refrigeration, as I mentioned last night. And then once the staff come in, that's when we take care of everything else. Okay, so our coffee's ready. I don't know if you can see that through the camera. Pure liquid gold. So let's go for another walk around. So I always make it a habit to check the fish tank when I walk in as well. So the lights automatically turn on, but just make sure no one's died, nothing is wrong with the water. 
check ammonia levels, uh, that's all fine. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. So guys, when I do come in, first thing I do is unlock all the doors. For example, I noticed yesterday the lake here is all frothed up. I've already reported this to my corporate body, so we'll see why that is. And we'll unlock this door. Stereo is on. I'm not going to play music now because every time I do, I get a strike from YouTube for copyright protection. So let's not do that. And finally, we'll turn all the lights on. Okay, so we're ready for another day. And we'll unlock this door too. That door's already unlocked, that only opens from the inside. I'll get to that in a minute. And that's all my baby fish there. So they're all doing fine too. Alright guys, so let's talk about unlocking all the doors and everything. Reason for that is we need a clear puff just in case of a fire. Not just a fire, if anything else happens like an emergency. Now I've been watching Fascinating Horror on YouTube. It's a very good channel. I suggest you check it out. And you'll find there's been a lot of instances in the past where there hasn't been enough fire exits or someone's parked in front of the fire exit or it's been blocked or whatever. Trust me, in an emergency you want to have that access clear, believe me. Alright, so let's just wait for our deliveries to come and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so my small goods delivery is just upstairs now, he's just pulled in, so we're just waiting for that to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, good. Yeah, very good. All right, guys. So as you can see, the delivery has come in. So this one's for small goods. That's very important that they give you an invoice as well. Always double check the invoice. So with these guys, we've been with them for 12 years. Anytime there's an issue, just call them. They'll give you a credit or investigate or see what happened. In this case, he just mentioned to me that out of these 440 containers which is this one here so they haven't charged before as you can see all right so generally they'll package things based on their temperature so in this box for example we've got milk and butter which is obviously fridge stable so I'm gonna go take this to the cooler now so guys with the milks I keep them all here as you can see all the different types so you can see this one expires on the 23rd so guys, first in, first out. That goes out, and the new one goes in here. And as you can see, this one's the 30th. Then we'll put the 23rd back in front, so that gets used first. So first in, first out, or called FIFA, it's very important. All right, guys, so next we're doing frozen stuff. So in my case, we've got potato chips here. So they come frozen, they need to be stored frozen. So in my case, my freezer was emptied on the weekend, so what I did was a complete defrost. It is frost free, but I always like to do a complete defrost. And all we do is stack them in. Now don't just go throwing them in like that. Place them nice and flat like that, so you get optimum storage space. If you have a chef or kitchen hand, make sure that's what they're doing. Just like so, and we'll close the door. Alright guys, and the final thing left in the deliveries is all my packaging, which I'm just going to stack up now. So guys, packaging wise for takeouts, I keep everything stacked up here as you can see for easy access. So we'll keep these ones here, and we'll stack up the lids next to it. So they match, and they match, and so forth. So everything's nice and easy. So when you've got a busy service, you're not running around looking for lids. Alright, so now after all those deliveries, you'll see we have all these boxes here. Now this is also the walkway to my cool room and storage area. So let's just say it's a busy night and you have all these boxes here and you're running around. That's what's going to happen. And you're going to have a major issue. So make sure you're training your staff. Grab one box. 
fold it into the sides like that. All the other boxes, break them down. Just like that. So look how clean that is. It fits behind the bin as well, leaving all this access. Now in saying that, we do have a common bin. So whenever it's a little bit quiet, I'll tell the stuff, hey, just one of you run it up, get it out of the way. Same with rubbish bags, don't leave them here. Now, so apart from that with the invoices, in my case, we do have an account that automatically charge us every seven days direct to our credit card. Now, that doesn't mean forget about it, they'll take care of it. Check your invoices and check your payments in your bank accounts. Make sure it all reconciles and adds up correctly. Because something can happen, and it has in the past, where they either double charge you, triple charge you, or charge you for someone else completely. So keep that in mind. I keep all my receipts separate here. Uh, we do have one-off supplies that come like once a month or you know, for something very small, for example, glasses or something. In that case, we'd pay on the spot, so the cash on delivery or direct by credit card, whatever's easy for them. Those invoices as well, stack them up with this, end of the month, process it into your bookkeeping software. Okay, so guys, that's the main stuff. So we're ready to open up for a day. Now before we do that, I always have to do a final check of our equipment. So let's do that. All right guys, so the first thing I do is check my cool room, 2.3 degrees. It should always sit between one to five degrees. So that's perfect there. As you can hear, the freezer is running, that's fine. Now these are all the delivery platforms we're on, so we've got DoorDash, MenuLog, WooFoods, Fetch and Deliveroo, and of course Uber Eats. So make sure everything's on, make sure none of them are frozen or glitched, or probably not even working. That's happened in the past with MenuLog where the screen was just not working, and we weren't aware we were getting orders. So check all that, if you have an issue, call them up. So this is my bar fridge, bar freezer. Yep, that's all running right. Dishwasher's here. The light works, it is turning on. I'm not gonna turn it on now. Guys, any sort of dishwashers that use hot water use a lot of electricity. Don't turn it on unless you have a load. And finally, the kitchen fridge freezer. The freezer's a bit low right now because we just put the chips in and we left the door open. So that'll come back up to temp, as you can see. So that's fine. All right guys, so that's it. We're ready for another day. Last thing to do is to play the music, which is just to press that play button. And I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I'll get a YouTube strike. So that's it for this video. That's the sort of day-to-day -day operations, what I do every day, every night. As I did say, it starts from night time. So if you have any other things you want to know, leave them in the comments so you can inspire me to do more videos on them. See you all next time.